Well, let's take a look at the Internet. Uh, the Internet uh, was developed for about 30 years, completely by the public. Uh, it, all of the, the software, the hardware, you know, the satellites, I mean, everything about it was completely within the public domain, the packeting systems, all the new designs. In fact, the, the only part that wasn't created by the public in the United States was created by the public in Europe. Uh, the basic ideas for the World Wide Web came out of CERN, you know, the Inter International Laboratory in Geneva, which is again a international government laboratory. That's virtually the whole story. Uh, after about 30 years of this, uh, just right now, the last two or three years, it's handed over to private power. Uh, so yeah, Bill Gates, who was typical parasite, you know, kind of watching on the outside, absolutely no interest, uh, now wants to take over the internet. Uh, and is heading to do it. And uh, private power is not keep being secret about what they intend to do. What they want to do is take this system developed at public expense, initiative, uh, ideas, technology, and so on, and use it for two purposes. Uh, one purpose is for what's called an intranet, that is to carve out big pieces of it which are simply used for purposes of corporate transactions. So if General Electric wants to have, you know, interactions between its office and, you know, New York and Zurich or wherever they are, you know, Penang and so on, they'll have this closed system with firewalls so you can't break into it, and that'll just be for them and similarly for other big corporations, other major private tyrannies. So that'll be a large part of the public system, and the rest of it is supposed to be used as kind of like a home marketing service uh, to try to turn people into passive consumers, you know, you in the tube, that's the social unit on which society is constructed. Uh, so you don't have to worry about interacting, thinking people doing really bad things like those folks in the slums of Port-au-Prince a couple of years ago. Uh, but they'll, the people will be passive and obedient and hooked on consuming for themselves, not caring about anyone else. And then you really won't have to worry much about um, the, dang, the threat of democracy, which that's the idea. Meanwhile, massive propaganda in the ideological institutions tells you all sorts of, teaches you all sorts of mantras and so on and so forth. Now, that's pretty much the way the story works, I think, at any point where you look at it in detail. Uh, so anyhow, my suggestion is take the slogans and look at them, you know, take them apart, see what they actually mean when you look at them in practice. Where do they work? Where don't they work? How do they work? Uh, what are the results? I think you find a picture that's very, very different from the conventional one.